Good morning, everyone. I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend and is having an all right Monday. It's early, obviously. I've dropped off kids at school and um, done laundry, things like that. Obviously, I haven't gotten ready yet. Um, but I did want to get on here because um, I watched the Jaclyn Hill video last night and I watched a couple of the drama channel videos about her and you know it just it really makes me sad like I feel like we not we because I know it ain't me people have absolutely no compassion no empathy for anyone nowadays um Jacqueline Hill obviously suffers from mental illness she suffers from depression and anxiety and unless you've been through it you have no idea how debilitating it can be to your life depression does not give a crap if you have money it doesn't give a crap if you have everything in the world if you're driving a nice car if you're dri if you have diamond rings on if you have everything you could ever want in the world depression doesn't know those things and neither does anxiety and it doesn't give a shit um people don't sit there and criticize oh well, i mean at least i haven't heard any um sit there and criticize robin williams for committing suicide that man had everything in the entire world to live for but it didn't matter because he had a mental illness and he could not cope with life anymore. And yes, Jacqueline Hill has chosen to live her life on social media, which I guess gives people the right, they think, to criticize and to belittle her and just eat her up and it is just ridiculous to me like i can't even understand how some people can even get their fingers to type half of the things that they do in reference to her it's disgusting like i mean have your parents never taught you that if you have nothing nice to say don't say anything at all or to have some compassion and to have some empathy and yes you see her with money and nice things and does that mean that her problems are less problems than than everyone else's just because she has money i mean no i mean i have family members um and people that i know that have committed suicide and when, you know, people are talking about them, they say, oh, well, you know, I just don't know how they could have done that. They had so much to live for. They had so much going on for themselves. And it's like, you don't know what's going on in someone's head. And it is really sad that people can get pushed to the edge. And instead of trying to bring them back from that, they there's people pushing them, making sure that they like fall off, don't care and don't have any empathy. Um, you know, the fact that her roof caved in, imagine if she's very fortunate. Yes. That she has the money to fix that. Imagine if that happened to one of you and, And you went to your friends and you were like, oh my gosh, my roof caved in. I don't know what I'm going to do. And they're just like, oh, cry me a river. Like, get over it. Like, boo-hoo. You're such a victim. Like, could you, I mean, I can't even imagine my friends or people that I care about responding to me that way. And she considers her subscribers family and friends and says she loves her subscribers and, and all that. And... In return, she gets shit on and spit on by them because nobody has any sympathy for her. She can do no right in the eyes of YouTube. Like, this woman could come out with the best palette in the world and 
people would find something wrong with it. I mean, yes, she made a huge mistake with her lipsticks. She did not create them, though. Like, do you think that Jaclyn Hill actually went into her lab and saw them looking like that and was like, oh, we're going to send them out anyway because I completely do not want to succeed in the beauty community? No, of course not. But people can't forgive anything. She even gave people their money back and they're still not satisfied. And it just floors me that people cannot just be like, okay, you know, she has a brand. It didn't do so well. I just will choose to not buy from her. Instead, people want to villainize her as if she went in there and intentionally put those little hairs in the lipsticks herself because, you know, she just hates her subscribers that much. Um, I don't know how she deals with it. Um, clearly not very well because she is depressed and has anxiety and, you know, posts pictures of things. And I swear she can't even post a picture of a flower without someone saying something. And it's just really sad. And it's, it really makes me sad that this is literally what the world has come to. I come from a different generation, you know, where you don't try to drag people down. You try to lift them up. And th that's just not what YouTube seems to be. And I hope that my subscribers never do that to me. Because if you're ever sad and down, I would, I would never try to push you even further down. I would try to lift you up. And, um, it makes me sad that her subscribers aren't there in that way for her because she deserves it. I mean, she's been doing YouTube for a really long time and she deserves some kindness. I mean, if she's telling people that she's depressed and that she's sad and that she's having anxiety, who is anyone to tell her that she doesn't have any reason to, or you're lying, or it's an excuse? Who are any of you people to tell her that unless you're her doctor? I mean, period, point blank. And I, and, and I get it because I have suffered with anxiety and depression. And if someone would have told me, like, why? What, what's so bad about your life? It has nothing to do with that. I could have everything in the world and still be depressed and still find, you know, sadness in myself. It doesn't even have to be your own life that makes you sad. It can be the things that happen to people around you. The people that, things that happen in the world. Syria. I mean, the, the children that are being kept in that camp in Texas. I mean, those things can set a person that has no reason maybe in their own life to be depressed into a depression because you can't, you feel like you can't do anything about it. And it's something that is just such an injustice and you can't do anything about it. And so it will literally, it can, it can send you into a depression. Basically, sorry, this was just a ramble just because I saw so much hate going towards her today and it is just so sad. But I wanted her to know, I mean, I doubt she'll see this video. I doubt very many people will and it doesn't matter. Um, but I wanted her to know and people to know, like have some sympathy and some compassion and some empathy towards people in general. When they say that they're sad, believe them. Because what would you do if you left her a mean, horrible, hateful comment on her video and that was what pushed her over the edge to commit suicide? Or, God forbid, you know, do that. Or attempt it. I mean, it's just, it, it is literally absolutely free to be kind. It costs you nothing to be nice. So try, just try to be nice to the people around you. And especially to the people you don't even know. Like keep scrolling if you don't like her, period. No one's forcing you to buy her products. I just wish people would just leave her alone. 
I'm not even a Jacqueline fan. Like, I think I follow her, but I don't really watch her videos. Um, and it's not because I don't like her. It's just because her personality and mine aren't the same. Even though we're both cancers, I, 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 I have like an issue with really loud people. It isn't that I don't like that I'm like, I hate them. It's just, it is really obnoxious to me. And so I choose to not be around people like that. Cause I, my personality is I'm generally really quiet. And so, you know, I don't really mesh well with people that are super loud and are like, rah, rah, you know? Um, so her videos and stuff tend to like, kind of like, I don't know. They put me in a mood that I don't like. And um, so I don't, I try not to watch them unless, you know, it's about, a, well, I mean, she doesn't do reviews anymore, but um, yeah, I just don't watch her. Her and James Charles, like their personalities and the way that they talk, it just like, it literally, it's like nails on a chalkboard. But I wouldn't write that on their videos. Like, I just don't watch them. So... That's and it, and as easy as that is, people still can't do that. You know, I watch the people that relax me and that I enjoy, like Raw Beauty Christie and Bailey Sarian, and um, I think that's her name. Oh my gosh, I will feel like such an asshole if I'm wrong because I love her. Um rather than watching someone that I hate and knowing I'm going to leave them a mean comment, I would rather watch the people that I like that make me feel good for the day. Um, that entertain me and not that put me in a space where I'm going to say hateful and meanful things. Um, because those don't do any good for you either. Anyways, please just be kind. Try to be nice to someone today. Say something nice to someone today. At the very least, say something nice to yourself today. All right, guys. I hope you had to have a great Monday. And I hope that you hear me. And just be kind. Bye, guys.